Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the use of SQL Ledger for prepayment. To start the tutorial, we go to login so that we log into the software. And there are two types of prepayment. We have customer prepayment, that's when our guest paid in advance to make use of our facilities. And secondly, we have a vendor prepayment, that's when we pay money to our vendors to enable them supply some goods to us. We shall start with the customer prepayment. The first thing we need to do for a prepayment, we'll go to order entries and we we'll click on the sales order. This uh, customer has been, you know, uh, selected by default because the only customer we have created. Let's select our office, our front office, and let's assume that he's coming in for accommodation and he's going to book in he has booked in on the 26th and we are going to go ahead and select a room from the services let's assume he's going to use this room here let's put the the room number which is 206 here and then we come down here to the payment section here and we enter the details that will be the date the date which is 26 that he paid the source we take it as cash and then the memo we put it as deposit for accommodation and then we now put in the amount that is going to uh, uh, he has given us let's put 21,000 and since he has we have not yet provided the service we are going to keep the amount there as zero so the whole of the, this amount will be intact you can see we have 21,000 now let us save and close once we save and close you can see that uh, if you look at the trial balance you will see that this account here the trial balance is shown that we have prepaid amount 21,000 and the, the accountant has taken uh, cash accountant is uh, 21,000 now let's assume that he has come today and he wants to assess uh, this prepayment we go to account receivable sales invoice it has defaulted to his name here but we are not going to use that we we'll first close the that entry that he enters by going into the reports here of accounts uh, uh, order entries and click on sales orders and we we'll click on continue and we click on this order number here once we click on that we must convert this uh, invoice, I mean sales order, or this order into an invoice by clicking this item here. Once you click, it will close this um, uh, booking or prepayment and open an invoice so that we bill and end the money. So once we converted it, it's closed already. Every other thing here is in order. Now we can open up this. We knew that is a uh, amount that we paid he paid us is 21,000 which is here we can now put it down 21,000 and then we now go ahead and uh, we update and once we update here you can see it is now 21,000 we don't have any other thing to enter than to say save and close once we post we've now earned that money has closed that if we look at our trial balance again we will notice that the trial balance is showing income now we have earned the income all the other items have been you know deducted like the tax VAT and the standing order and we have earned this amount of money now if it is a vendor 
we have deposited some money for uh, purchase or either drinks or whatever we now instead of using cells we go to uh, purchase order and click the name of a vendor this vendor is the default here let's uh, uh, assume that this accounts finance and account as ordering we will just say drinks drinks and then we go we put in our percentage sign here to enable us get either one of the items that we want here let's let's be more descriptive let's come down here and select drinks so that once we click on this drinks here now update it will now take us uh, into where we will get the drinks sorry it has not gone to the drinks i'm going to go back again and select drinks here and update with a percentage and we select on drinks and we click on audit should give us the, the list of all the items that are there so let us take this one here is a drink let me take this one here I'll take just one uh, I'll take uh, Gouda yes and leave that one once I've taken that I'll click on the price is here but it's a retail uh, price is zero here so I'm going to leave it at zero and I will come down here and put in the amount that I have that I, uh, uh, the date let's assume that we deposited this money for drinks on the 1st of February and the source is cash and the memo is a, a deposit for drinks and we put a, a hundred thousand we use the a, a Zenith bank account to receive this to send this so when we update here as it is we can see that the customer is owing us uh, 100,000 we can now go ahead and see if now let's assume that we now want to uh, receive the goods what we have booked we want to now uh, we just made a deposit we have not yet booked let's assume now that we want to get the the goods have now come we can now click on purchase order just like we did for the other one we click on this so that we can now convert it to an invoice let's say we now click on this it will now convert to uh, this and then we we know per bottle per bottle we put nothing here let's assume that a carton is uh, 2000 and we are buying um, 50 cartons 50 cartons when we update you can see it has booked this amount here now for us so what we do is we can now post and once we post that uh, transaction is closed let's look at our trial balance again and once we click on the trial balance we notice that this hundred thousand we paid has been nailed off and uh, the beer legal and wine has been booked here is in our inventory now we have 50 uh, cartons of uh, beer here and what do we do the other account has been closed you can see 
trade and order payables zero here too we have zero so that is how to deal with uh, uh, reports i mean prepayments for both customers and uh, vendors let's look at the uh, balance sheet if you click on it you will see that we have assets here and so on this blended bank is reading uh, negative because there was no money in it that is why it is the way it is so if we look at the income statements here we can now click you will see that that one that that trans last transaction we went on was not a balance sheet item it i mean was not a an income item it was a balance sheet item that is why it is there so with this uh, short uh, tutorial i hope you are fully uh, appreciative of the use of secret ledger for managing uh, prepayments thank you